tune, I'll boss it. What's going on guys, Cam Green Fitness here and if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave this video with a like. So I've done my bench press warm rep max, I've also done my deadlift warm rep max and now it's time for the squat warm rep max. So in terms of the squat I've always found it a really difficult movement just in terms of the depth, um, my flexibility has always been poor but recently I've been putting some good stretches and stuff in um, to really help get close to the floor which I'm going to show you in the next video. But yeah I just thought I'd give a test a go just to see how strong my legs are. And I'm still repping my Cam Green Fitness merch. Let's go! Right now I'm about to vlog right? I'm about to vlog. Do you want to be in the vlog? What does that mean? What does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on guys? So I'm about to go to the gym. I'm about to do some heavy squats and test my one rep max. And uh, guess who's coming with me? Do you not, do you not want to say hi or anything? Hi! <laughs> <laughs> this is my nan's crap check. So because it's squat testing near the gym, uh, we're gonna have three scoops of a pre-workout, but I've left my shake at the gym, so we're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. Niggas see the crib and ask who did I steal from? Price tags on making the world feel some. They don't have enough to satisfy a real one. Mary Carter couldn't even get the So it's time to start warming up for the squat. In the next video, I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail on why I'm doing a couple of these exercises. In basic terms, just know that it helps with your flexibility, it also helps with your muscle pliability, um, and it really helps with your technique. Um, that was kind of a massive factor when I was first learning the squat was my technique and my depth, so this really helped it. So this is my first attempt at 110 kilos. Like I said, I've never really done the test before, uh, so it was kind of interesting just going straight into this and seeing how heavy I felt it was. Um, I didn't feel it was too bad, depth could have been a lot better. But in terms of difficulty, the lift didn't actually seem too bad, so I think, you know what, I'm going to stick 10 on each side, um, and then I'm going to give this another go. So 130 kilos, again this didn't actually feel too bad. I know as you see on my way up my knees collapsed a little bit which is a massive pointer when trying to keep your strength during the squat. But I just think, you know what, I'm going to add 5 kilos on each side uh, and give it another go. So now on to 140 kilos and in terms of difficulty it felt massive compared to the last lift. Uh, as you notice on my way up my knees start caving in which obviously decreases your strength massively. Uh, and at the end you can tell that I was just so surprised I got it up. But anyway, at least I've got that noted down, and now on to the rest of the leg workout. And I've been fucking hoes on my base shit. Go to the crib, I tell her go to the spaceship. Red pill, blue pill, we in the matrix. Take it to the face, better do what I say, bitch. He make it out of here, then he a winner. If a nigga try to run, then we pull up his runners. So I was going to actually show you this in a completely separate video, but I thought, you know what, I'll give you guys uh, a bit of a two-in-one video. So this is the hardest exercise by far I've ever done for legs. Uh, my manager showed it, so big up Dean. But you're going to go on the lat pull down, and you're going to clip your legs just behind where you usually put your knees. And then you're going to slowly lower yourself to about 45 degree angle, and then pull yourself back up. Uh, in terms of weight, it's all body weight and uh, mainly it's kind of eccentric training so you slowly lower yourself on the way down and then when you get to the bottom you're going to push yourself back up. Uh, eventually kind of when you get to the point of close to failure where you can't, can't pull yourself back up or you're even struggling to get yourself back down uh, you kind of pull in there and then you can pick yourself up using your arms a little bit of arm strength um, but try to keep most of the emphasis actually on your hamstrings and in terms of muscle soreness and muscle damage this is an exercise which has just completely blown all the rest of them away. So that's the free test done. Uh, if you haven't checked out the deadlift max or the bench press max, there'll be a link in the description, so check them out. But overall, I was happy with the weight that I lifted. I know my depth could have been a little bit better, technique could have been a little bit better, rolling my knees out to make sure I stay nice and strong. But it's a nice indication now of kind of what weight I need to be working at. But that is the end of the vlog, so if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave this video with a like, and I'll see you next time. Peace! <laughs>